One of the big differences between corporations and sole proprietorships is that corporations are their own legal entities. That means that corporations are responsible to pay their own taxes. Corporations earning more than $500 are required to estimate their taxes and make deposits to the federal government during the year to ensure that they have enough money to pay those taxes at the end of the year. That's not much money, so most corporations end up estimating. This means that at the end of the year, these corporations have to calculate their actual tax obligation, compare this to the estimates that they've been making, and then make an adjustment so that their expense accounts accurately reflect what they owe in corporate income tax. Now let's imagine that your company has a net income at the bottom of their income statement of $753,850. The first step to a tax adjustment is to calculate the income tax for your company. This tax calculation is very simple thanks to the current corporate income tax laws. Currently, as of 2020, the federal corporate income tax rate is simply 21% no matter how much your company earns. So in our example, 21% times $753,850 means that your company will owe $158,308.50 in federal income tax. Now let's imagine that your company has already made estimated tax payments throughout the year that total $125,000. The adjusting entry your company must make is for the difference between the actual taxes owed and these estimated deposits. It's important to note that sometimes corporations estimate high, and sometimes they estimate low. If the estimate is lower than actual taxes, then the income tax expense account gets debited. If they estimated too high, then it gets credited. In our example, the estimate was lower than the taxes by $33,308.50, so we will debit income tax expense by that amount. If the company pays the adjustment immediately, you could credit cash, but for our example, let's imagine that your company will pay it later. So we would need to credit a liability account. Let's use the account income tax payable. Now let's review. Any corporation earning $500 or more needs to estimate their taxes throughout the year. At the end of the year, the corporation calculates the actual taxes due. As of 2020, the corporate income tax rate is 21%. The adjustment is the difference between the estimated and actual taxes. If actual taxes are higher than the estimates, the adjustment is a debit to income tax expense and a credit to income tax payable. To learn more about gap adjustments and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit torynorman.com.